going up against each other for the first time today. We have Taylor Green from Decano, Colorado, and Nico Zone from Falston, Maryland. Well, both Taylor and Nico are 2-0. and Nico has improved his time by 11 seconds in his second race. Let's see what he does here. And they're off. Oh, Taylor skipped the second rope. No rope rope for her. Well, green means go, and Taylor is flying. Nico trying to keep it close. Look at that upper body strength on the 411 green. You're looking at the upper body strength. Wow. Look at the intensity in her eyes. You can tell she wants a it. A commanding obstacle lead. Well, Matt, this is a true testament. If you stay ready, you ain't never got to get ready. And she ready. The great ones are just, look at that arm over arm. are one fast ninja. You linked the spin cycle like monkey bars. I mean, was that always the plan? That was our new plan and it, it worked. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> new plan, that's the inside scoop. <laughs> Congratulations on an awesome race. And I'm moving on to the next round, Taylor. Matt? Now let's head back to the start line with the 11 and 12 year olds. We have a rematch with Autumn Matheson from Byron, New York and Brady Parks from Apopka, Florida. Now, Matt, Autumn remains undefeated, but Brady gave her a run for her money in their first race and only lost by two seconds. This right here is anybody's race. Ooh, he's got a jump start, Matt. It looked like Autumn was distracted. But this won't be a walk in the park because Autumn can go, Matt. Look at her. Oh, she just made that jump from her knees. From her knees. She's catching up to Brady. Brady tried to skip a bank, but missed. That just gave Autumn the edge. And she's really putting the pressure on Brady again. Ooh, she's getting off. Go for the dish. Oh, and Brady is down. Oh. Autumn has saved himself. He's still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. You can see the upper body stay dry. Keep going. Keep going. Ooh, but Matt, this is going to be hard for him to get that rope all wet. Autumn better kick it into overdrive. Got to finish. She's got to go. She's got to go. Oh, he's down. I'm so proud of you. You know, take the ball, take the lead, and do whatever you can. I gotta give it up to Brady. He went down swinging. Even though Autumn got caught sleeping at the start, she gained the lead on the rings and dominated the rest of the course. Let's go down to Lori, who's with Autumn. Now, while you were on TikTok, you actually slipped a little yeah, bit. I down. Talk about that. I don't know. I guess I just lost my footing. My footing was lost, so I just held on and then reached for the rope. And I made it. So, hey, congratulations on making it to the semifinal round. Matt? A solid effort by Brady, but it's Autumn Matheson who secured her spot in the 11 and 12 semifinals. And now it's time for the final race of the day. An epic rematch of East Coast Ninjas with Sophia Lavalle out of Lancaster, Massachusetts versus Daniel Jones from Mount Sinai, New York. These are two of the fastest ninjas we've seen so far. Daniel can run the course in under 40 seconds, and Sophia shaved five seconds off her time between her first race and second race. And remember, in their first race, Sophia was ahead until the flying shelf grab, where a quick dismount from Daniel sealed the race in his favor. Out of the semifinals, on the line. Look at that speed. And Daniel a strong start, but he hesitates. Sophia's first on and off the TikTok, and we know she's great on the devil's death. She wants to win this one, Matt. But Daniel is catching up, both skipping stops. Daniel's on first. Joe's slightly ahead. Uh oh, we got a lead change. We got a lead change. Oh my goodness, too close to call here. This is where Jones had the advantage, though, right here on this move, this dismount. Watch it. Did it again. Well, the valley right. there. Sophia, you won by four tenths 
fraction of a second. Incredible. Let's take a look at that finish again. Daniel was first on the wall and grabbed the lip ahead of Sophia, but she was able to hoist herself up first. In a Michael Phelps worthy finish, they were only fingertips apart to the buzzer. Catch American Ninja Warrior Jr. Saturdays at 7 on Universal Kids. And don't forget, for more videos like this, subscribe to DreamWorks TV.